Hello. Today we will discuss about axis symmetric analysis in open form. This is a simple wedge in which the degree of this wedge is around three degree. So uh, in uh, open form website they have mentioned this degree should be less than three means uh, less than five degree. Then only it will uh, allow to do uh, axis symmetric analysis. In axis symmetric analysis you will uh, computation time is very less and uh, the result is also very good compared to, to to 2d analysis so this is you can see i have rotation it is actually circular uh, hollow cylinder in which this one is inlet and this here here is this one is inlet and this is outlet it is laminar flow so here you can see that our uh, velocity around uh, 1 uh, meter per second and here you can see that uh, maximum velocity is around 3.4 meter per second in laminar flow so uh, we will uh, wrote this code in open form so, so here I have contained zero folder in this uh, folder contain pressure and velocity uh, gradient file in constant folder we have transport properties and turbulence property i will see you miss uh, i will uh, teach you in next uh, next uh, few minutes in system we have control directory fv scheme and fv solution so first i i have one fluent file uh, access.msh so i will first write fluent mesh to form access dot msh it will convert my uh, this ms dot msh file to this open form file it will convert in constant folder so it is poly mesh i will change my boundary condition uh, to to this uh, sorry this is actually type is wall so i will write in uh, I have already copy pasted type we have selected is wedge and physics type is also wedge so I, I will change my this wall function to wedge function so it will uh, the, my uh, wedge 1 and wedge 2 will be type is wedge so, so our analysis will be axis symmetric now I will show you my mesh file so touch m dot form so it will create my mesh file in my directory so here you can see that m, it, m dot form apply it so here you can see that my inlet is available outlet is also available so if i apply this one is inlet and this is outlet now uh, this wage 1 and wage 2 here you can see that my wage one is this surface surface is which is so it is difficult to visualize actually uh, but you can see that here two part is available one is wage one and one is wage two so it is around uh, five degree less than five degree so it will convert it in axis symmetric problem so here you can see that this is my wage one part and other side is wage two part so now i will show you one by one see in zero filter we have kept P means pressure gradient in pressure gradient we had selected inlet at our zero gradient because uh, it is calculated from our velocity inlet and our outlet is uniformly zero means at atmosphere and our wall is zero gradient wage one is here you can see that you have to change type to wage it will symmetric about axis means it will uh, uh, see uh, u in result
so wage one is type wage wage meaning it will uh, convert your problem in access metric so it is wage two type is wage so our pressure uh, gradient is means pressure file is corrected and I had kept and this is bound to file now I will open velocity gradient file so here you can see that our dimension is meter per second our internally uni internal fill is uniformly um, set as 0 0 0 and our inlet is in z direction 1 meter per second so the main thing is you have to choose z as along thickness element because in post processing here one option is that for uh, rotation of this result so it will rotate only in z direction so be specifically you have to search uh, wages along the z axis only the only when you will create uh, as a symmetric model so i had kept as a z value of 1 meter per second our outlet is zero gradient wall is no slip and wage 1 and wage 2 is type is wage it will uh, access symmetric problem so we have changed type to wage so now I will go for this constant folder in transport properties I had kept uh, transport vendor as Newtonian rho is 997 means water and mu is 8, uh, 800 so it will have laminar property rho vd by mu so it will convert in laminar property in turbulent property I had kept turbulent model is laminar means simulation type is laminar so it will not calculate any turbulence model in this as our Reynolds summary is less than uh, means critical flow velocity flow so now we will go for system in correct uh, control directory I had kept as simple form start is start time 0 to our end time it is number of step so it will solve up to 2000, 2000 step and then if it converge uh, first uh, 100 iteration it will stop if it is not and then it will go to up to 2000 uh, time step so it is all by default now FE scheme I had kept default uh, our d by dt scheme is steady state our gradient scheme is gross linear and our FU solution scheme I had kept as it is our solver is gmeg tolerance value is 1 e raised to minus 6 and our smoother is cross shader so if I write our simple foam code so just write simple foam sorry I have to just save it now it is uh, running our result so here you can see that our final residual is uh, it is counting at every iteration so by this uh, residual we, we can see that uh, if our residual is 1 e raised to minus 6 then only it will converge and uh, we can trust our result so now simple solution is converging 143 iteration our clock time is 35 second it will execute our uh, result will be 35 second and 135 iteration now we'll go for touch r dot home so we'll see our result here you can see that this is our pressure profile i'll go for velocity profile here you can see that my inlet velocity is around one you can see that here color is almost one and uh, here when it is become laminar it is uh, reach up to 3.4 so our result is almost correct as predicted because 
when laminar flow is uh, in means uh, in uh, pipe it will uh, mostly around 3 means 2 to 2 two times it will increase velocity so our means profile is correct now we'll plot our result to this uh, axisymmetric model so how to do that uh, just press control space bar sorry first you have to see uh, one result slice just apply it and velocity profile so it will slice your result into one data frame and save it here in data frame sorry now we will see, uh, click control space bar and just type rotation extrusion just enter it and this is resolution so how many part you should you have to divide so if you write 12 part so here you can see that uh, this is very coarse structure you can get I will write 100 parts just apply it so here you can see that very smooth curve you can observe this is pressure control I will go for velocity control so you, here you can see that our velocity profile is around 2 while our here means uh, we can we had get 3.4 as a velocity now we'll plot our result our line so first i will go for a slice and i will reflect this result reflect around y axis So here you can see that I had reflect my result. Now I will check my uh, inlet boundary condition. So if I go for here plot our line and I will go for zero. So the line was created and if I apply it and just I will see. You can see that my almost velocity profile is around one which we had. Uh, boundary condition if I um, again I will uh, reflect again plot our line and here I will write 0.4 so maximum end and if I convert it and just P So here you can see that my inlet profile is around 1 and my exit profile is around 3.4 as laminar flow will increase in center. So my velocity profile is around 3.4. So by this way you can plot your result in uh, various various way. If you want to put uh, this uh, reflect as a uh, this glimpse so you can also plot glimpse also so just type glimpse and just apply it you and just apply it you can get uh, your velocity control it is very big actually so I'll reduce my scan so here you can see that my glimpse is available if you want to change your game slides just see so by this way you can change your glimpse if you want to see your boundary so just go down and see axis grid so it will create your axis grid and by this way you can see your result in open form for axis symmetric boundary condition.